All right, folks, today I am with a special guest. This is Brian Travers. He is from Liberty University, Lynchburg, Virginia. That's where he went to college. He was on the fishing team. He saw me on Facebook and we t uh, reached out to me and we are on the Cooper River today and had an awesome day. All right, tell us a little bit about yourself, Brian. So, I uh, went to Liberty University from 2012 to like 2018, spent a couple extra years there, mainly to bass fish, um, made two national championships while fishing for Liberty, two second place finishes, both on Smith Mountain Lake, my co-angler Caleb Unger and I did that, that's what qualified us for the national championship, but recently been doing a lot more with what my major was, which was commercial corporate aviation, and I'm down here in the Charleston area now as a flight instructor for craft flight training. Very good. And he knows how to fish, that's for sure. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I was ready to cover that. That was a baby. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a baby. <laughs> yeah, that's all I've seen on this river. Yeah, I know what's wrong with me. Oh gosh, no wonder. <laughs> Some of mine going through the water. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's a better one. Good. Spam. That'd be a good keeper for sure. Absolutely. You don't kiss it? You don't kiss it? No. <laughs> All right. I started this years ago just because uh, way back in the day when my girl was little, she's 27 now, her and I would pretend to have a fishing show. Okay. And we would, uh, I'd, I'd have an 8 millimeter camera set up. And I had no idea about YouTube or anything like that back in the day. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I would have. You know, and then during winter time, I would just watch myself fish. You know, when you couldn't go fishing, I just watched myself fish. So I just did it for my own, you know, selfish purposes. And then when I thought maybe, maybe, nope. oop, I got a baby playing with it. Maybe I'll just go ahead and uh, try to drum up the channel so I can maybe approach sponsors or something. But, uh, you know, it's just, it's just hard to do that and have a job and all that. But that, anyway, that's how I, that's how it started. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's another baby. Well. And you know what? We caught that in front of a boat. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. I think sure doubled over though. Yeah, he thumped it. Man. There we go. That looks like a good one. Oh, that's, that's good. That's another decent keeper. Now he was off the edge there too, right? He was. Yeah. Very good. Man. Alright, some bait fish are jumping. I don't know if you can see that little piece of hydrilla. Right there in front of the stumps, they're jumping up right there. They won't hit the chatterbait. Oop, they're all in there. There he is. That's better. Yeah. Got, oh, that's a pipe. Uh -huh. Yeah, get off. Get off. Please get off. Oh my jackfish down here. Mm -hmm. We're going back from there one day and my trailer broke There's a little one, I think. Uh, he's a decent keeper. That's Whoops. Dump, 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 dump. And you were fishing Ivy. He's on that wood, isn't he? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Nice. Nice. That's a good keeper. Good. All right. Oh, that's right. Oh, you got it. He... Did that thing jump out of the water for Was us? that a you? I didn't know if that was you or something else. I popped him over that log and it kind of came up to the surface. It thing connected on the surface. Somebody was aggressive.
little bit bigger. Well, a little pounder and a quarter probably. I got it. That's a baby on a jig. <laughs> Stop it. Out here? out here? Okay, so he's on that drop. Yeah, that's where they are. Remember, this view from my chesty has no audio, and I was able to rescue a clip. It's a good day. 
2.30. Start, let's say we start at 6.30. It's, uh, it's uh, 3.30. 3.30, that's right. Nine hours? That's nine hours, yeah. That's good. It's not like we uh, had a little picnic and relaxed. That's good. Hell yeah. getting all the soft plastics out going through the cooler and you know Brian left something I think he left me a gift this is uh, lunchables here but what it's got I guess for the dessert oh some Oreo type cookies and anybody that knows me I love the Publix carrot cake butter pecan ice cream double stuffed Oreos thank you Brian I know you left those for me mmm rundown and then um, Brian can comment let you know what he was using but basically moving baits quarter ounce Picasso head swim bait head and I don't have any more I ran out today Kitek four inch pro blue red pearl my favorite color the swim bait I fish on a Rick Morris Magnum cranking special. This is the seven foot six medium heavy cranking rod. And I just like the way it loads up, acts for small swim baits like this. And Revo Premier Abu Garcia reel. I don't know what the gear ratio is. Six four to six four to one. Yeah, I'm, I don't necessarily like slow reels, but winding baits sometimes I do. Caught a few on that. I'm not sure if GoPro got all the catches for me on there or for Brian for that matter I haven't looked at the film a chatterbait this is the pro I think Seiko Yamamoto trailer in white now I did catch a couple off of one that is a homemade one from a couple guys in my club Ashley and Todd comes through grass real good see the head and this one has a real wide wobble. I mean, it's really wide and kind of hunched crazy. And this this one from um, Z-Man Chatterbait, the, the regular Chatterbait, has a real coming through the water. So I don't know how much it mattered, but in the darker light, I fished this. And it's a jackal, some kind of a trailer on the back. That's the last one I have of that too. I mean, I ran out of a bunch of stuff today, which is good, and we'll get rid of it. So I can buy new stuff, you know. Honey, I'm out. I gotta buy some new stuff. So the chatterbait, I fish on a Rick Morse chatterbait rod. It's a 7.3 medium heavy. I love the rod, and I fish it a 17 pound test and the old Shimano Corrado reel, CU 200. Slow reel, so I fish it slow. But this did the trick today. The old zipper, the old zipper worm, kind of a bluegill, bluegill type color, a variation of green pumpkin, and a light sinker. It's a lead. It's not a tungsten. I don't use tungsten unless I'm in a tournament. Went through a bunch of those worms. I'm not sure. I think I got two more bags left because I bought I bought a bunch of them when I was a younger man, and I still have them, and they're really good but they did the trick today. I have a setup for flipping. I use 30 pound braid, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader with the FG knot. Yes, the FG knot. <laughs> but the rod is the RPM Rick Morris rod, seven foot medium heavy worm jig rod. 
I have to say, we're just, you know, pitching along. That's one of my favorites. And I got this on an 8 to 1 Titula CT100X 8 to 1 gear ratio. I'm a fast reel on this sucker. And that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. But we had an awesome day. That was good. Just wish that frog bite was on this morning. That was kind of disappointing. It's a chance at a big one too, you know. Our best five probably was about 12 pounds. You know, we couldn't win any tournament. Might be in the money a little bit, depending. But still got to figure out how to really catch the bigger ones there. And I, I can't get into the rice fields. I'm, I'm scared to do that. I need to know how to run them. That was a good day.